After you've included a subroutine in a strategy, you can call it from a flowchart. It can be called from either an action block or an optoscript block. Delete the connection lines that are connected to the optoscript block. Move block 0 up and add a new action block named Get Temperature in Degree C. You can hold down the Alt key and type 248 on the numeric keypad to get the degree symbol. Connect the new block to the other action blocks and reconnect the connection line that loops back up to our new block. Otherwise, we'll only take a reading once because we don't loop back up to that block. Let's add instructions to the Get Temperature and Degrees C block. Double click the block. Click Add. Then Select. Let's look in the Mathematical Group commands to find our new instruction for the subroutine Convert Degrees F to C. Click OK. Fill out all the fields for the parameters you defined. First, the analog input for the temperature. Then, the float variable we want to put the return Celsius temperature in. We'll define store temperature in Celsius. Then we need to define the return status for the subroutine. We'll create temperature conversion status to store any error codes. Click OK to finish up. Notice how the instruction is red versus a standard command which is blue. Click Close. What if you need to make changes to the subroutine after you've used it in your strategy? No problem. Let's take a look at the strategy tree. The subroutine appears in the subroutines included folder and it also now appears in the folder of the chart that calls it. In this case, it's the fuel monitor chart. I can make changes to the subroutine parameters if I double click them from the subroutines included folder. You can view, add, and change variables in a subroutine from the strategy tree, just like you would for a chart. And one more thing I'd like to point out over in the subroutine included folder. Now that you've used the subroutine in your strategy, the reference count for the number of times used is listed here. This is a reference to the one time that it's been used. This count can become important when, for example, you want to remove an included subroutine from a strategy. If the Remove button remains grayed out, Remember to look for all references to the subroutine. You've now used the subroutine in your strategy. Next, let's test it out in debug mode.